What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and welcome to yet another video of a Dark Souls title or like title. This one in particular called Mortal Shell. And if you're interested in Souls like games, it's definitely one to check out. We go over performance on a Ryzen 5 3600 with an RX 5700 XT for the GPU. We go over the game settings and the key mappings, controller mappings things etc and kind of get our feet wet in what this game has to offer it's a super interesting title and i would like to hear what you think about it in the comment section below enjoy the highlights from the stream which you can watch live every day 6 a.m to 10 a.m central standard time on twitch.tv slash blind run adios stats are right above my camera we got CPU usage across the board. At the top you got GPU usage, memory speed, and clock speed. At the bottom you got the frame rate. Let's check out the options menu. Okay, so options menu, you got your gameplay with your language. Controller icons, I guess you can switch it if you're having issues or whatever, using a different controller, a knockoff controller, but Xbox One and PS4 are in there. Doesn't look like the Wii is in there. Automatically lock on target, we already selected. HUD scale options, hidden, large, default, medium. We'll do default. Subtitle scale, you can turn up and down. Camera shake, you can turn on or off, it looks like, or up and down. We'll leave it at what it's at, but that might be something you turn down later, or off. Force feedback scale, 100%. Or you can crank it down. We'll leave it where it's at. We went over those options already. Invert Y axis. Yes, please. You can invert your X axis if you want. You got controller sensitivity and ballista zooka. So there's a weapon, I guess, called a ballista zooka. Well, that's cool. It's got your mouse calibration settings as, as well with mouse sensitivity, etc. Here's the fun part, the video. We can only go up to 1080 because we're on a 1080, 240 hertz screen. Display mode, full screen, frame rate, unlimited, V-Sync off, we're using FreeSync right now. All right, so we're gonna turn motion blur off, we're gonna turn film grain off, and we're gonna turn in. Oh, indie mode basically pixelates it. You see that? Look at that. Weird. Off. I don't want it. That's kind of fun, though. <coughs> um, brightness levels, resolution scaling. That's good. No auto scaling, though. There is an HDR option. It's grayed out because this isn't an HDR panel, but it does support that, it looks like. Quality presets. You know, they got low, medium, high, ultra etc and then custom let's turn off this the film grain and stuff that we didn't want so default this game said my system with a ryzen 5 3600 and a rt or not rtx <laughs> an xt 57 yeah 5700 xt rx 5700 xt there we go rx rtx rx there we go says uh shadow quality high texture quality ultra view distance high effects quality high foliage quality ultra post-processing ultra and anti-aliasing ultra i bet if we do that we'll get more frames ta-da 161 frames and i bet if we do that we'll get more frames no okay anti-aliasing doesn't seem to Affect frame rate that much. We'll have to see in game texture quality. You get maybe another five frames out of it, or shadow quality. Sorry, texture quality. Ooh, yeah, texture quality is a big one. But I wonder if just putting it to high would be good. I mean, we're we're solidly above 144 frames, so we're probably good here. Probably just gonna leave it. See how it plays out, right? Audio. You got separate sliders for all of your audio. That's good. And there is an audio quality setting. High is the highest on the audio quality setting. 
But you got UI volume, ambient volume, dialogue volume, music volume, effects volume, and master volume. And then the controller is rebindable as well as mouse and keyboard, so that's good to see. Pretty good options menu. Beyond the grip of the familiar, a threshold demands to be crossed. The mortal shells yearn for meaning, awaiting glimpse of their true purpose. Are we awakening? Yeah, we got control now. The gate opened. Open sesame. So we're sitting around 120 frames a second at 1080p. All right, hardened. You have inherited the ability to harden your body. Hardening prevents harm from attacks, but is broken quickly upon taking physical damage. All right, hold B to sprint. B and right for... Got it. We're getting our butts kicked. <whistles> Death. Mortal shell. Look at Tomb Raider intro, dude. Fucking trippy, man. <sighs> All right, we could go left or right. We'll go left. Is there some dude over here? In habitat, mortal shell. What? So th this is one of the shells? Hell yeah. Oh no! We ran through a trap! Ouch. Oh shit! Double trap! Double trap supreme! Oh, you got me. One mob down. Watch out for these damn traps. Oh, another one. Oh shit, you fucked me up, bro. Come on. Alright, well, and we aggroed another dude somehow. We're definitely fucked. What is that? Oh, we're dead. You can see game performance up above my camera, by the way. All right, so another one down. What does this do? That didn't seem to do anything cool. What does this one do? That plays guitar. And I am terrible at guitar. me he knocked me straight out of there oh not today sir we got back in our shell Woo, big boy I have no idea if it just goes on forever or what it looks like I have four charges so I was thinking I could only play it four times block bam 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 Oh, so is there not a, ah, oh, balls. So I think we want to go up, dude. I 
I like the enemy animations. Super good ragdolls. They look realistic when they're falling down and shit. So it's not really a block, and it's not really a parry, but like, so on LT you harden, is what they call it, and when it hardens, it, you can't get damage, essentially. What the bonfire equivalent is, or the souls equivalent, looks like whatever these are. The souls equivalent is tar. Optimization seems pretty good. I mean, obviously, like, we came down here to this more open area. <clears throat> so if you're, like, right here looking this way, you can drop down under... You can drop frames pretty significantly. But with free sync and, like, staying, like, above 90 frames, it feels fine. God, I'm gonna keep hitting those things. A door? Fulgrim Tower. Sup, girl. Pray, what weirwood spirit beckons? What weirwood I spirit? Shall I shall you name you founding. So, okay, so you get the shells, but before I can upgrade the shell, which just looks like some sort of ability wheel here. So this looks like some sort of ability wheel. And we have to find the name of the shell before we can upgrade the shell, it looks like. Oh, so you click it and then it shows you what enemy has that weapon? Dude, it has like a... There's like a Shadow of Mordor vibe, dude from the particle effects and shit. These like little flashback things. I like that it shows you where the enemies have the weapons though that you want to get. That's kind of neat. I mean, it sort of shows you. It doesn't really show you, right? And then there's a workbench. And there are just upgrades for different items. Don't know how they work yet. This just goes back down to the sister. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It has to be a short stream today. I got some work to get done, unfortunately, and I have to start a couple hours early. Be there, be square, 6 a.m. Right here, same channel, same time. Adios.